in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Exploits in Call of Duty have been around pretty much since Call of Duty multiplayer started. However, there wasn't really any bans for doing these glitches or exploits until around Black Ops. I think in Black Ops, we were able to report players for doing these glitches or these exploits, whatever you want to call them. Usually, these bans range from 24 hour bans to 48 hour bans to permanent bans and later on in the call of duty life cycle as years went on players started getting their stats reset for using exploits in call of duty and it seems that this year with world war ii it's definitely no different and in fact it is going to be a huge, huge thing in Call of Duty World War II. People are not going to get away with doing these glitches or exploits, whether it's just something simple as map glitches, or it could be something like boosting you could get banned for, um, because that'll get you higher on the leaderboards. You obviously have a higher score per minute. And also prestige glitches. So... As you all know, yesterday on the 29th of November, there was an update for Call of Duty World War II. It updated a, a bunch of things where it patched some glitches, a glitch on Point Du Hoc, and there was some other map glitches that were patched, a bunch of invincibility glitches, I think, as well as some weapon balances and things. But one of the most important things that came out of that update that not many people knew about was the ban hammer michael condry said himself that the ban hammer was coming once that update hit and he also gave insight on what the ban would actually be so we're going to take a look at that right now but first i want to talk about something very very quickly for those of you who don't know i didn't personally know this until yesterday actually when I saw a video about it there was actually a glitch in Call of Duty World War 2 a prestige exploit that would allow you to completely skip prestiges and all you had to do was it, it's patched now obviously but all you had to do was have access to the prestige area and you had to have a division like ready to prestige and then you did some weird button combination and you were able to walk over to the general and prestige and you could repeat this as many times as you wanted and uh basically get all the way up to max prestige so it was a, a max prestige master prestige whatever you want to call it exploit and it seems that uh the enforcement team and michael condry was not too happy about this so in a conversation with Hollow Point, Michael Condry said what the actual ban was going to be for doing these glitches or exploits. Now, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be whether it's a map exploit or what, I have no idea. But um, I did see this before, and I can't think of who it was. I think Prestige is key tweeted to Michael Condry and asked um, if people were going to get banned for doing the prestige exploit. I don't remember what he said, but uh, he had some response, and this was obviously it was before the update was released. Now, in a short conversation with Hollow Point, here's what was said. So Hollow Point, first of all, asked Michael Condry a question. He said, no universal flinch for nerf yet question mark so he was asking a question and in return michael condry uh tweeted him the a reddit link for the patch notes for yesterday's update so hollow read the patch notes i'm guessing obviously and then he responded uh with 
this tweet makes very much sense. And then he said, the ban hammer, are you guys set on how long you will get banned for yet? And this is incredibly, incredibly extreme. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. And it's definitely well deserved for the people who do this. Michael Condry said, in response, 72 hour multiplayer ban, full progression wipe, and one month forced into the Canon 24-7 playlist. So, let's break this down. So, if you do this for any reason whatsoever, any exploit, anything that you do, the possibility of being banned is very high. And a bunch of people are going to get hit with this because of the update. Again, he said a 72-hour ban, so that's a three-day ban for multiplayer. Full progression wipe, so whether you're third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever prestige you were, your stats are completely wiped, you're no prestige level one, you're off the leaderboards, everything's reset as if you've never played the game. And I think one of the worst things of the whole thing is you get forced in, into... A special Gustav Cannon 24 play 24 playlist 24 7 playlist for one month that is incredibly scary so is it justified yes I think it is I think if you exploit the game for the sake of getting ahead of everyone else just for bragging rights um, I think you need to be punished for it now, if I don't necessarily think if you did this once to see if you got curious, oh, did it work, so you did the prestige glitch, and you get banned for that, I don't necessarily think that you should get banned if you did it just to actually see if it worked, because we all know YouTube, there's a ton of fake videos out there, and some people get curious. I have before. I didn't actually do this particular prestige glitch i would never do anything like that i have always play legit in call of duty with exception to modern warfare 2 i think where i helped a few people boost for nukes but other than that all the nukes i had in that game were legit but anyway i digress we're not talking about modern warfare 2 um but everyone gets curious sometimes and they see something and they want to try it you know it's just curiosity kills the cat so that's what happens People try it, and maybe one time, okay, if you do it one time, you're not going to get banned or whatever, but the enforcement team can look at your profile and see basically all of your stats, meaning they can see how many per times you prestige in one day. So if you prestige one time in two, day, in two days, one time in one day, okay, so what? Uh... That could be normal with double XP, you know. But if you're prestiging two, three, four times in one day, you definitely deserve to be banned. Now, when it comes to the map exploits, on uh, you can see the gameplay here, Point Duhawk. I don't think anybody was up there in this gameplay, but the map exploits or glitches is questionable. To me, do I think they deserve that kind of ban? No. I think they should get banned for at least 24, maybe 48 hours, or the full three days. Do I think they should have their stats reset for doing a glitch in a map just because they want to get kill streaks? No, I don't think it's worth resetting their stats, but I do think that they need to be persecuted for it. So that's just my thought on it. That's my opinion. Um... So just know that if you guys are going to do these stat changing glitches or exploits, whatever you want to call them, uh, just know that the negatives highly, highly outweigh the positives of it. Sure, you're going to get higher stats and all this, but you are also running the risk of being banned. Um... Now, I'm very, very surprised that he didn't say anything about a permanent ban. I'm guessing if you do this kind of thing more than once, so say you do the prestige glitch one time and you get all this, the 72-hour ban, the stats wipe, whatever, the canon playlist, 
and you find another glitch and you do it again, I'm assuming that's when the enforcement team has the right to give you a permanent ban. And I think if you do something more than once and get banned the first time, I think that you actually do deserve to get a permanent ban. So that is what I have to say about the situation. That's what's going on. So if you guys do decide to do these exploits or glitches, just beware of the consequences. They are huge. And the cons definitely outweigh the pros by a ton. So you're better off just staying away from it. Just watch videos of people doing it and just know that they're going to get banned. Um, I know, like I said, curiosity kills the cat. And if you guys see something that you just want to try just once, sure, you might get away with it. But there is that slight chance that you will get caught and get banned even for doing it once. So anyway, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Again, don't do this kind of stuff, guys. Just, it's not worth it. If you guys enjoy the game, just play the game it's meant to be, the way it's meant to be played. Excuse me. Um, just do the grinding, man. It's, it's, it's so rewarding when you can get to that max prestige and you didn't cheat or anything like that. It seems like they are really going to crack down on the cheaters and glitchers and exploiters uh, this year on Call of Duty World War II. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow, Friday, for a new video. I am out of here. Peace. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's